Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll surely find a video about every single country on Earth. In today's video we're going to explore Oregon, but keep in mind that there's an entire playlist of all the US states and territories, so be sure to check that out too. Also, and obviously, remember to subscribe if you wish to see the two new videos I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Oregon is a state with a name that's pretty familiar to everyone, but there's actually no definitive explanation as to how it got its name. One theory suggests that it's derived from the French word ouragan, meaning hurricane, which was applied to the Great River of the West, now called Columbia, and it was based on Native American tales of powerful Chinook winds. Another theory says that it actually comes from the Portuguese Aure il Agua, meaning in a large way cascade. Another theory suggests that it was a misspelling of Wisconsin or the Wisconsin River, which appeared on a French map as Wariconsin. The most likely explanation is that the Spanish named the territory as Orejon, although it is unclear why. The fact is that no one can actually tell us why Oregon is named Oregon. Can you name one thing that comes to mind when thinking about Oregon? No? How about the Oregon Trail? This state was the destination of the famous and historic American Trail that stretched for 3490 kilometers from Independence, Missouri to Oregon City. From the early 1830s, the Oregon Trail was used by about 400,000 settlers, farmers, miners, ranchers and business owners and their families. An estimated 21,000 people died making this trip from disease, dehydration, hypothermia, drowning and Indian attacks. Once the first transcontinental railroad was completed in 1869, use of the trail declined. However, if you wish to experience at least parts of the Oregon Trail, you can use the highways like Interstate 80 and 84, which follow parts of the same course and pass through towns originally established to serve those using the trail. Southern Oregon has been trying to secede from the rest of Oregon since 1941. Disgruntled with a lack of representation, a group of Southern Oregonians and Northern Californians started campaigning for statehood back in the 1940s, proclaiming their independence and renaming the area the State of Jefferson. On November 27, 1941, Jeffersonians stopped highway traffic and announced their intention to secede each Thursday until further notice. Though the Southern Oregon secession movement has lost some steam in recent years, there are still folks who proudly display the state of Jefferson flag. We all know that the Great Depression was a very harsh time for millions of people. But in North Bend, Oregon, the only bank in the city was forced to temporarily close its doors, and this caused a big cash flow crisis. But the city managed to solve this problem. How? They minted currency using wood discs printed on a newspaper press. These coins in denominations from 25 cents to 10 dollars were then used to make payroll and keep the economy alive. The city promised to redeem them for cash as soon as it became available. And they did, but when the bank reopened, many people opted to keep their tokens as collector's items. Eventually the city gave up and announced that the tokens would remain legal tender in perpetuity. So to this day, those wooden coins can still be used legally, although their value has gone way up due to their rarity. Forget blue whales and giant redwood trees. The biggest living organism is over 3.8 kilometers across and you hardly even see it. We're talking about a parasitic mushroom called honey fungus and it's in the Blue Mountains in Oregon. 
This organism is actually thought to be the largest living organism on Earth, but most of it is actually underground. And this is not all. This beast of a creature is old, really old. It's estimated to be between 1900 and 8650 years old. Oregon was actually attacked during World War II. Starting in 1944, the Japanese military began launching unmanned balloon bombs toward the west coast of the United States, in the hopes that some would explode over inhabited areas. Around 350 bombs made it to the United States, but the US military managed to intercept most of them. The only casualties suffered occurred in Gearheart Mountain, Oregon, where six people, five of them children, were on a picnic and accidentally triggered one of the balloons. Their deaths are believed to be the only combat casualties on continental US soil during World War II. Hell's Canyon in eastern Oregon is the deepest river-cut canyon in the United States. The canyon was carved by the Snake River, which flows more than 1.6 kilometers below the West Rim and 2.3 kilometers below the peaks of Idaho's Seven Devils Mountains. The region is a popular recreational area, despite the fact that there is no road access in pretty much the entire park. It is worth it though. The views are breathtaking and once there, you can go fishing, go on a jet boat, hike, camp, or test your rafting and kayaking skills. And there you have it. These were 7 facts about Oregon. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.